This is Reginald Goober, also known as Goofy Goober, the friendly old man that loves children and goobers, the owner of the famous restaurant Goofy Goobers. He just loves satisfying kids by his popular song, I'm a Goofy Goober, yeah. But I'm thinking that Goofy is working for the Spongebob filmmakers and Atlanteans. He might be faking his Goofy personality to prove everyone and conquer Earth. Goober was revealed to be very unintelligent in the TV show which is contradicted by some proofs. In the episode The Goofy Newbie, we learn a lot about who Goofy is as a person. After becoming a multi-millionaire from selling melted ice cream on a stick, Goofy got abducted by an extraterrestrial spaceship which is designed as a banana split. But there is no way aliens would come on Earth to take a multi-millionaire. In 1842, he headed west in a covered ice cream wagon. In the days before cones and refrigeration, he served his warm ice cream on rocks and sticks. From those humble beginnings, Goofy Goober has grown into a multi-billion dollar business. We only as that you believe in extraterrestrials. Peace, hats, and ice cream! Wait, why is Goofy Goober mascot a peanut? What does the peanut symbolize? Upon searching, in Chinese tradition, a peanut symbolizes wealth. But we did see aliens in SpongeBob SquarePants. In the episode Atlantis Square Pantis, we see a city called the Lost City of Atlantis. Literally a city with a race of aliens that share their technology with the fish in Bikini Bottom like art, wealth, and even underwear. These aliens seem very friendly and have traveled billions of light years to reach their home planet. But I'm pretty sure that nobody would do anything for free since sharing technology is priceless. And I believe that the Atlanteans are getting something in return. But what could it be? Free ice cream? The restaurant? Or Goofy? Well in the episode The Goofy Newbie, Patrick reenacted Goofy's origin theory by eating too much ice cream to a point where he freezes the whole earth for 5 billion years until it thaws out. He was getting fired and happily went inside a UFO. Keep in mind that he wasn't abducted since he chose to leave Earth for a reason. Why did he leave? And where did he go? I'm thinking he went to the Atlanteans to offer them the whole planet Earth for either more ice cream or an opportunity to sell ice cream at the lost city of Atlantis. Can't you see? Goofy is selling the Earth which contains all the undersea life. He is an evil extraterrestrial partnership business dealer. This theory is confirmed. So in the Spongebob movie, Goofy Goober was a huge part of the film. The Goofy Goober props were the reason Spongebob saved everyone from Plankton's chum hats which were controlling the minds of innocent bikini bottom citizens. But am I really gonna believe a guitar and a costume would save people? If you think about where the technology came from, you might start to believe it. The Atlantean provided the technology to save them. But why would Goofy Goober want to save everyone and sacrifice his own resources to get the technology from the Atlanteans? Maybe because he is the director of the movie. This makes so much sense since Goofy Goober was the solution of the plankton problem. In the episode Lost and Found, we see all Goofy Goober props down at the Krusty Krab Lost and Found. Eugene Krabs is a filmmaker storing all the props and film all citizens of Bikini Bottom. If you guys don't know about the television theory, it basically proves that Spongebob Squarepants is filmed by scuba divers. Reginald Goofy is profiting off the movie, his restaurant, and the trade of the earth. I'm sure the earth was frozen after the movie to preserve it for the aliens which proves that Goofy Goober is a genius disguised as an unintelligent fish to conquer the earth. And that's the Goofy Goober theory. This theory took a lot of effort so I hope you guys enjoyed it. With that being said, please check out my other theories where I uncovered the meaning behind a character and an episode. Thanks for watching the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to never miss another video.